What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name is Greg. Hope you guys are doing good out there. I'm actually doing pretty solid. I have a very strong inner hermit that comes out at all times. So uh, all this self-isolating has been kind of a dream for me. <laughs> I've been honestly really, really digging it. I need a haircut bad. That's the only thing that's killing me. But um, yeah, other than that, like honestly, it hasn't been too bad, guys. I don't know how things are going for y'all. I hope you guys are safe more than anything, but um, I hope you guys are really using this time to do some uh, soul searching and like I said in a lot of videos before, using it to propel you into a new season. Maybe it's a new business venture, a new job, a new gig, but let's spice it up a little bit. Let's never be the same after all this self-isolating. Anyway, so what I'm talking about in this video is just can you apply for these benefits if you're self-employed? That seems to be the biggest question we've gotten, at least, from so many of you. <laughs> and I thought I'd made it really, really clear in a lot of these videos, but I guess not. If you are self-employed, if you are a freelancer, if you are an Uber or Lyft driver, anything that falls in those titles, yes, you get the benefits. They apply for you. Um, I think I said this in another video, like, I mean, you're even talking like even a social media influencer probably qualifies for this, which is pathetic. It's like, what, can you not take more selfies and stuff for your Instagram due to this craziness? I mean, I guess maybe you can't go do photo shoots, but, um, anyways, before I blab too long. So right away let's just let's just nail this right away yes if you're self-employed if you're a freelancer anything like that this applies to you what does that mean it means you're entitled to six hundred dollars a week of unemployment um, as well as i believe a stipend that goes along with that a weekly stipend so you're talking over six hundred dollars a week you're entitled to you might say well greg why am i entitled to it i'm perfectly healthy i could go out and work right now sure you could but would going out and working right now be a risk for you? Would it be a risk for your family? Would it be a risk for every single person that gets in and out of your car? Are you probably quadrupling your chances of getting sick and developing symptoms? 100%. And that's why I'm saying to do this stuff. I get that probably most of you feel totally fine. Um, there's also a good chance that most of you are carrying it and not realizing it. So... Just bear that in mind. I think the biggest thing that's been tough for a lot of you guys to tackle is I think a lot of you are afraid because you feel like you're lying if you apply for these. But the reality is you're not lying. Look, here's where I would say you're lying. If maybe being a freelancer or self-employed to you already meant staying at home. I'm not applying for any of this for my, my um, ad agency, my marketing business, because it was all from home anyways. That literally wouldn't be right. But for Uber and Lyft, you better believe I did. Um, because I was surrounded by all those people constantly. I never checked myself, but like I actually got really sick about month, like right when things really, we started really hearing about it. So I didn't think anything about it because I assumed I just had like a fever or something. But I think there's a good chance I might have actually had it. And so for me, the way I looked at it, at least, is because I was sick, even though it was so early on, I mean, I think it was like late January, early February. So like I said, right when we started really getting a lot of attention on this, um, there's a good chance I had it and didn't even realize it. So who am I if I keep driving not knowing, especially because millennials are like the biggest carriers of this and we're the ones who are going out and still living life like nothing's going on, you know? I hope not anymore. I mean, I think that was like a, a few weeks ago, kids were still going to beaches and stuff. But um, now, hopefully, people are being smarter. But my point being is that it's a risk. And if you drive consistently, there's a really good chance you're a carrier for it and you don't even realize it. Think about all the people you pick up. Everyone from the airport. Think about the rides when you would pick up three or four people for one car, like a family, and they're traveling. I mean, you realize that statistically it's not that hard that they were on a plane with someone who may have been in China in the last month. Uh, we'll say three months. 
there's very, very good odds that there's some businessman who does international business who was on your domestic flight and you didn't realize it. And then he got off, got in your car. And that's like, I'm just trying to show you guys how easy you could have something and not even realize it. And again, the reason why I'm saying that is so that you guys see you shouldn't feel guilty about applying for these. You shouldn't feel like you're lying. Um, you should just approach it really heavily from the stance of, for the safety of myself and my family, I feel I shouldn't be driving right now. And that's very reasonable. I can guarantee you any doctor in the world is going to agree with me on that. I can't imagine there's a single one who would say, no, you should be out there driving Uber and Lyft right now. No doctor is going to say that to you. Everyone is going to advise you to self-isolate. So self-isolate and let Uber and Lyft know why you're doing it. Um, now, for a lot of other self-employed jobs, you know, we're the rideshare hub, so we're going to focus on Uber and lifting. But really, the only way you need to look at it is, can I not do business because of what's going on right now? And if you can answer yes to that question, you can get this money. If you can't, if your business or your self-employed position could 110% operate at no risk to you, then yeah, you shouldn't. But in most cases for freelancing stuff, we rely on people. Um, networking is everything. Engaging with people is everything. So it's like for most things, I'm willing to say you're going to be entitled to this. Um, the only other thing I'd really like to cover during this. Oh, so how do you do it? Uh, I can't remember if I covered this yet. It doesn't hurt to say again. But Basically, if you want to apply, you, you just Google your state along with something like unemployment insurance, unemployment benefits, something along those lines, and it should take you to an application process somewhere on that web page. You might have to hunt around a little bit. I did, but um, that's how you do it. So that's the most important thing to know because that's going to get you on the right track. Uh, just be careful how you felt the information, how you answer the questions, make sure you're being truthful. Like I said, you've got nothing to hide, nothing to lie about. So you shouldn't feel like you're lying if you're filling out any of this. Um, so the only other things I would say uh, I have been touching on, if you have any confusion about the stimulus check, which is separate from all this, the stimulus check is basically for being a citizen. So if you filed your taxes, you're going to get $1,200 or more depending on your situation. As long as you make $75,000 a year or less, you qualify. And then I think you get $500 for each child. So uh, that, all you have to do is file your taxes. If you haven't filed your taxes yet, do that pronto. Uh, if you're an Uber and Lyft driver, it, well, if you're an Uber driver, through Uber's gold benefits, you get a, like amazing self-employed package for free on TurboTax. It's a $120 value, helps you file as an independent contractor. It's extremely helpful. And I will say like it makes doing your taxes way easier. And just so you guys know, because I've pushed TurboTax a few times, we have no affiliation with them. I'm not pushing them. We don't get money from TurboTax. That is like legitimately like one of the best things that Uber offers. And so I want you guys to take advantage of it if you haven't yet, especially if it means you can get $1,200. It's a $120 package. You get it for free. Um, and you basically can then file for free. And you'll be pretty much taken care of. So if you haven't filed yet, do that. Like I said, there's not a reason you don't file when you have that TurboTax option. So um, you just have to file for the $1,200. I do... We do have some videos on how to get sick pay from Uber and Lyft. That's a whole other topic, so I don't want to delve into that since this video is already going kind of long. But um, definitely hunt around on the channel for those videos. And the last thing I'll say and then let you guys go is like, we are pushing so hard to get you guys up to date content right now. Um, my motive has always been with this channel to help you guys make as much money as you can. Right now, I'm not going to be able to help anyone with driving because driving's dead. But I can help you guys with stuff like this. So when this stuff updates, like you get better believe that Dylan and I and everyone else, we're going to be really on top of it, making sure you guys have up-to-date information. Um, and um, yeah, and basically so you guys can have as much money as you can during these times to survive, feed your families, take care of yourselves. And um, yeah, so... 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon.